The legendary actor Al Pacino plays Teamsters boss Jimmy Hoffa in Martin Scorsese's The Irishman, the first and only collaboration between the veteran director and the legendary actor. Scorsese tried to get him in a film of his for decades, and their long-awaited collaboration has produced one of Pacino's best performances in years, and critics and fans have heaped praise on the senior citizen's magnificent performance of the energetic and in-your-face Hoffa. It follows what has largely been a pretty poor decade or two for Pacino, who hasn't had much success with his movie roles since the turn of the century. Barring a few decent films here and there, and a modest success on television, Pacino's choice of movies, films like Hangman and Jack and Jill for example, leaves a lot to be desired, something that could also be said for his Irishman co-star Robert De Niro, who it seems has also been coasting through poor movies in recent years. The Irishman gives us the duo's best acting in years, showing us they still have it and leaving us with one last great film from the two good friends. But why do they so regularly star in such bad movies? Obviously, they are beyond this stage where they need to prove their acting talents to anyone. And they are entitled to take easy roles where the money is good and they can enjoy themselves. But their movies have disappointed fans over the past decade or two. De Niro was being interviewed a few years ago, and I remember the interviewer making an insinuation that De Niro was phoning it in in his recent movies, a pretty brave remark when you think about it, and De Niro was so angry that he got up and walked out of the interview. That would suggest that maybe he was trying hard in his roles, or he was just simply offended for some other reason. But Pacino brought up the topic in an interview both he and De Niro did together for GQ magazine. He admitted that he actually likes starring in bad films, and does so for the purpose of challenging himself to see how much better he can make them with his involvement. Pacino said, You know what? I think I may be falling into a bad habit now. I think I'm starting to get a little perverse. I'm starting to want to do films that aren't really very good and try to make them better. And that's become my challenge. He also suggested that getting paid well helps a lot. He said, I don't think I go in thinking it's not going to be very good, but it's like Bob said, sometimes they offer you money to do something that's not adequate, and you talk yourself into it, and somewhere within you, you know that this thing is going to be a lemon, but then, when it comes full circle, and you see it, you say, oh no, I'm going to make this better, and you spend a lot of time, and you're doing all these things, and you say, if I can just get this to be a mediocre film, and you get excited by that. It's an impulse that I've got to just put away now. So there you have it. Do what you will with that information, but it looks like we finally have an answer as to why Al Pacino does so many bad movies. In his own words, he knows they're going to be bad and wants to see if he can raise them to the level of mediocre. And of course, there's the money he gets paid for them. Fans will probably agree with Pacino that it's a habit he needs to get rid of, but at least Pacino has managed to squeeze out one last great performance, as he smashed it as Hoffa in Martin Scorsese's The Irishman. Thanks for watching.